Wrestling fans get away with almost anything at wrestling events. They can say whatever they want, but the one thing that is completely unacceptable are fans who attack wrestlers. Unfortunately, this has happened quite a few times, and here are 10 times where wrestlers got attacked by fans. Raven, WCW Thunder. Possibly the first time where a fan got away with an attack on a wrestler without getting attacked himself, this fan must have had a bowl of Lucky Charms that morning. While the disturbed Raven was cutting a promo on Thunder, a fan jumped the barricade and pulled Raven out of the ring by his hair. Raven was thrown to the outside but popped up soon after and watched security tackle that sad sack to the ground. Raven then got back to the ring and continued his promo like the pro that he is. Randy Orton, SmackDown Live Event Jeez guys, I know a lot of people don't like Randy Orton, but you have to be a big asshole to actually give him a low blow. At a live event in South Africa, Orton was victory posing on the second rope when a fan comes in from behind and low blows him off the rope. Security pulled him away before Orton can retaliate, but Big E also wanted a piece of the fan too. Now that would have been a real story. Stone Cold and Triple H, live event. Despite any beefs wrestlers may have with each other, the boys can always count on each other to protect the other out there in the ring. At a live event in Germany, Triple H was facing off against Stone Cold when a fan rushed the ring to attack Austin. Upon seeing him, the game leapt to his feet, took the fan to Suplex City, and wailed on him into oblivion while security took their sweet time to get the fan out. The NWO, Bash at the Beach 1996. When Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall turned the wrestling business on its head with the NWO, the effects were numerous. While they later turned out to be cool, most fans were initially outraged that Hogan turned his back on the fans. This leads us to Bash at the Beach 1996, where a particularly out of shape fan tries to rush the ring with three muscle bound giants. He can't even slide under the rope before Hall and Nash stomp him into next week. Sabu, New Japan Pro Wrestling. The headdress that Sabu wears to the ring isn't the same as some pointless cap that an MMA fighter would wear to the cage. It means a lot to him. Unfortunately, it didn't mean anything to a Japanese fan who grabbed it off his head. At a New Japan show, Sabu's headdress was yanked off his head and Sabu leapt into the crowd to wail on the fan for a good five seconds. And to top it off, he didn't even get it back. Eddie Guerrero, Monday Night Raw. Of all matches for fans to get involved in, a ladder match seems the most dangerous. Well, one fan in Edmonton, Canada really didn't want Guerrero to win back his championship and pushed Eddie off the ladder. Being the smooth criminal that he is though, Latino Heat landed on his feet, spun around and got off a punch and kick before security carried away the crazy Canuck. CM Punk, Monday Night Raw. In most of these attacks, it's rare that a wrestler will actually get a clean shot off on a fan, but that's exactly what happened here with the best in the world. After running into the crowd to avoid Ryback, Punk got a little too close and started getting shoved around by some fans. After one shot to the head though, Punk couldn't take it anymore and bashed the fan behind him. Unfortunately, he hit the wrong guy, and it was a bad situation for WWE. Randy Savage, WCW Nitro Randy Macho Man Savage wasn't exactly the most calm and rational wrestler to ever come around in the business. So why did a fan think it was a good idea to attack him? As Savage is in the Nitro ring putting lipstick on Kevin Nash, yeah, it's best not to ask, a fan quickly leaps into the ring and tries to tackle Savage. That proves to be a colossal error, as Savage takes him down and pummels him until security takes him away. Linda McMahon, Monday Night Raw on WWE television, Linda McMahon has usually been the voice of reason in the McMahon family. So out of all the McMahons, why would she be the one to almost be attacked by a fan? On an episode of Raw on the road to WrestleMania 2000, Linda came out on stage only to have a fan try and rush her. Luckily, Triple H was close enough to tackle the fan down before he could get close. Nice job game, scoring brownie points with your future mother-in-law. Chris Jericho, Victoria, British Columbia. In the age of cool heels, Y2J's heel run from 2008 to 2010 should be studied by any pro wrestler as a perfect example of how to get fans to hate you. While he received critical praise, it also got scary one night in British Columbia. In Jericho's third autobiography, he tells a story where the mob of fans rushed his car in the parking lot of the arena. They damaged his car and Jericho had to fight back after being spat on and shoved. Those stupid idiots are all on the list. And that's it for our list. Did we miss any fan incidents that you remember? Let us know in the comments comment section and don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the Sportster for more awesome videos. Until next time, 